4.14 exercise. For number one, the markup is given as 75%. So you would need to take your selling price of 1750 and divide it by 100 plus 75 or 175% to get a thousand rand. Remember that you need to include the 100 in your calculation here as this accounts for the cost price to which the markup was added. Number two, your selling price is 6,000 divided by 150%, which is made up of the 100 for the cost and 50% for the markup. 6,000 divided by 150% or divided by 1,5 gives you an answer of 4,000 Rand. Number 3, 5,000 divided by 100 plus 100 or 200% gives you 2,500 Rand. In this case, you need to double the markup with the cost price because the markup equals the cost price. So in actual fact, if 100% markup is used, it means you are adding the same amount on again. Hopefully now you can see that if you are doubling the cost price to get the selling price, you will need to halve the selling price to get the cost price. Number four, 20,000 divided by 100 plus 150 or 250% Will give you 8,000 Rand. Hopefully after doing number three you can see that if the markup is 150 percent you can't simply divide by 150 but have to remember to add the extra 100 for cost price on. If we had simply divided by 150 percent that would have meant that we were using a markup of 50 percent which in this case is incorrect. It is important to always add your 100 to the markup, even if the markup is a high figure, as in this case. If you were going to use a shortcut, you could simply say 20,000 divided by 2,5 equals 8,000 Rand. Because remember, 250% is the same as saying 250 divided by 100 or 2,5. You are now ready to try 4.15 exercise, which looks at the accounting equation and the effect of different transactions, as well as incorporating cost of sales calculations.